all right so i'm gonna put this at the very beginning of this zenith video uh well it's what i had so i figured i'd go ahead and post it up hadn't posted anything in a while so i thought i'd give you all something to watch it's not the best repair video that i've done i kind of skipped around and didn't really film a lot of it because i was having some issues with the radio and a a bad capacitor that had been replaced it was a newer capacitor and i thought that uh, it was good but uh, just remember when you're uh, <laughs> uh when you're troubleshooting and working on radios just because it it's new does not mean it's good so anyway on with the video and this is what we're going to be working on next uh this is how this radio was dropped off uh this is obviously a console and the guy was uh is uh pretty particular about his radio uh he wanted to make sure that he was going to be able to put his uh cover over it uh, <laughs> so uh yeah this ought to be a, a real treat uh, it's in very nice shape so anyway uh see you guys later and enjoy the video all right so uh 1942 zenith um these are nicknamed the boomerang radio because of the shape of the dial glass in a boom sort of a boomerang shape um this is a model six d44 six delta 44 the chassis number is the six bravo 14 so um this is just a an all-american five of the tuned rf stage so it has the 35 volt rectifier and the 35 volt uh, uh, audio output tube um, this one has a uh, let's see a 12 sk7 that's the rf tube the 12 sa uh, sa7 which is a converter the 12 another 12 sk7 is the if uh, 12 sq7 is the detector and the first audio tube and uh, 35 l6 audio output tube and last but not least a 35 z5 rectifier tube so one thing that i was noticing on this thing it was sent in for repair um the guy says it'll play for uh you know a long time and it'll just shut off on him uh, I haven't encountered that at all. I did take it apart, found about four weak tubes, uh, well, excuse me, three, three out of six that were weak. This one was good here. Uh, this one, this one, and this one were weak. So I replaced them with some strong tubes, and the radio doesn't play, play right, excuse me, and, um, so we must have some kind of a circuit issue uh, with this radio because the radio plays fine with these weak tubes but as soon as you put stronger tubes in it it it, it doesn't work correctly at all as a matter of fact it seemed to be that the 12 sa7 here which is a converter tube seems to be the main culprit as when you switch it out with a stronger tube it will play for about about five seconds or so five to ten seconds and then uh it'll just quit so it'll make a strange noise and quit so um something isn't right in this set so i need to figure that out one thing that i was noticing inside this uh, cabinet here I can hold this right this tube lineup that they have in here isn't correct they've got some they've got a 35 z5 a 35 l6 but then they have a 14 r7 14 a7 14 c7 and a 14 q7 so i'm not sure what that's about because that's the last number seemed to be correct but we have 12 volt tubes in this one in the schematic there noted there so not sure what that's about um i mean i would assume this is the original case for this chassis so anyway 
uh, I'm just going to go off of the schematic because that's what the set has in it. So I'm going to go by that. Um, not real sure what's going on there. So anyway, uh, let's get into it. Okay, well, I'm getting interference from the camera as soon as I turned it on. Kind of a, a little bit of a whine there. But anyway, the radio plays fine with the, uh, the old wheat tube in it here. So I'll, let me demonstrate what it does. I'll show you. I'll pop in the, uh, this known good tube, which is glass tube. All right, so my apologies. I said this was a 12SA7. It's actually a 12SK7, so that would be this IF tube. So let's plug it in. I'll show you what it does. It's kind of kind of strange. Makes a motor boating sound and then just goes, just poop, it's gone. We'll play for a little while. And it's just gone. That's <laughs> that's what it does. Okay, well this is a a little bit strange. You put the meter on there and it starts playing on this resistor here. I was wanting to measure the voltage off of the plate. When you do that, you take the lead off. It stops playing. So. Let's check this resistor and see what's going on with it. Okay, so that's a, a gray, red, red, which would be 8200 ohms. So let's see what we get. Let me turn that back over to resistance. And 9.12 K. That doesn't seem that far off. It seemed like it make the radio stop playing. I measured the voltage on it and it's about 14 volts, which is what it's supposed to be. So, <clears throat> we'll have to look a little bit deeper. Well, I noticed this wire here has been replaced. It goes from the tuning capacitor down to that antenna coil up underneath the radio which is where that resistor goes and I don't really like this being too long this has very you know small amounts of capacitance and if you th if you put too long of, an, uh, of a wire on here it could throw the capacitance off this could make the thing stop oscillating or whatever so I'm gonna shorten this wire up just you know just to do it I don't like that long wire lead. It looks like it's too long. Then on the other end of this wire we've got kind of a, a sloppy soldering job here. It's This wire doesn't even look like it was tinned when you put it in here so I'm going to pull that off and tin the wire and put that back on a little better. Okay I'm going to tin this wire up a little bit. I think I got it out of frame with the camera. Just kind of coat the wire, keep it from fraying. So it'll stick on there a little bit better. I'll put this back on here. That's better. I should keep it from should keep a better connection there. Okay, so I pulled this 8.2 out of the circuit because it seems to be sensitive when you probe at it. It shouldn't do that. I'm checking it out of the circuit. Let's see if you can see that meter. My little prop has broke off of this thing and got to where it won't stand up. So I'm going to check that thing out of the circuit. And as you can see, it's higher than what it is in the circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave this one in the circuit. 
uh, where it is on the coil, but disconnected on the other side. I'm going to tack in a, a new 8.2K and see what the radio does. Alright, we got this resistor tacked in and I still don't like it. Touch it with the lead. Now the radio comes back in. Take it off and then it's gone. Alright, well, we got that fixed. Sorry I missed that. But, uh, now my camera's oscillating on the radio. Um, here we go. Let's see, I found a leaky capacitor. This capacitor, let me turn that volume down. Uh, if you can see that yellow one right there runs up underneath the band switch goes back here to this tube and goes uh, to the tuning capacitor which is right there I replaced that that was in there it must have been leaky and uh, so I noticed the uh, the voltage on that circuit was uh, quite a bit higher than what it should have been uh, according to the schematic and I saw that capacitor in there and I'm like well, yeah, let's let's change that that needs to go anyway, so Did and so it seems to be seems to be working Well, I must admit I've been battling a problem with this radio um, It's been motor boating and causing all kinds of distortion it had all kinds of distortion issues Anyway, I had to do a, kind of a phone a friend. <laughs> uh, thank you, Brian, for helping me on this. Uh, you know who you are. Um, yeah. Uh, well, this capacitor, which is a new capacitor out of my drawer, reads what it should. But this capacitor, which is C6, which is a chassis isolation capacitor, um, and this is on just a low volt, you know, it's not even high voltage measurement. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, that's probably open or it, it's gone. <laughs> so, yeah, there's your problem. So, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully we got that. Hopefully this will fix it. We'll find out. But um, anyway, while... Um, you know, between clips here, I've replaced several components, and I even replaced the uh, capacitor and the loop because it seemed like an antenna problem, but that didn't, you know, none of that stuff helped. And you, it, what was weird about it, you could add a little bit of capacitance to the uh, plate of the RF tube, and it would quit motor boating. That's what I've been having as a motor boating and squealing issue. So, yeah that that'll do it see what 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 had me uh, fooled a little bit was this was a new capacitor I mean I didn't put it in there whoever worked on this set last put it in there and um, yeah so you know that that just goes back to that saying just because it's new doesn't mean it's good and that's that's what happened here so if you're working on sets just because it's got new capacitors and don't assume they're good <laughs> I normally don't but uh, you know I'm just scratching my head and running in circles over this and you know anyway uh, hopefully this will fix it we'll find out all right so it's all back together and we got it working and before I send it out I thought I'd uh, show you it's working and get get the uh, end of this video wrapped up it works um, we changed the uh, this is basically like the cross the line cap um, but uh, it still keeps motor boating with the tube I was using so I found another tube that it works with and we're gonna ship it out like that um, I don't this thing has got issues I don't have time to reverse engineer whatever somebody else has done with this thing. Uh, they've changed quite a bit of stuff in this radio and there's a lot of sloppy work with it. And the guy just wanted to get it working 
uh, he said it would just shut off on him I've ran it for probably five or six hours and it's been fine so we're gonna ship it back and call it a wrap it's just after dusk and the skip is starting to come in the DX There were several additional allegations. What I like to call this great realization. He became the man. So the symbol of service in the Bible is often the towel. Jesus washing his disciples. I feel lucky today. I wait for someone to say goodbye. They don't say goodbye. That's why I goodbye. Memory of Peter, who was on the boat. This morning, you don't want to sell someone contraceptive. You go ask someone else. Can you get... So hilarious, man. God's going up full body crap, I told you. It's on the web there. Or if you don't already have it, you can download the ABN app. With that app, not only can you... Everything's going up. And our county governments, Brian, I visit with all 95 of my... All right, so there it is. The uh, 1941-42 model uh, Zenith Boomerang Radio, as they call it. Uh, I believe the model is 6D644, I believe. And, uh, yeah, working again on the way back to its owner. Uh, thank you all for watching.